Good evening, Kenton community. My name is Sabatino Samato. I'm your superintendent, and this is your weekly connection update. Some important highlights today. We're going to talk about big picture learning, give a reminder of the Breakfast with the Board forum tomorrow morning, talk about a brand new program here in the town, badges and pins. We have our school highlights, and then we'll finish off with our recognition. So let's get going. First, our big picture learning program. You know, this past week, I was so fortunate to actually visit one of our students during their internship. Internship's a big part of Big Picture. And this student, Matthew Weiser, who's a junior at our Big Picture program and has been in his internship since October, he interns right there on Great Arrow in Buffalo at Western New York MMA. And why I was so fortunate is I got to actually sit as an observer and watch Matthew work with his mentor, his advisor, and others from the Big Picture program, I got to see that Big Picture in progress, Big Picture in live real time. This was a great experience because it was Matthew's exit evaluation at the end of the year where Matthew worked with his advisor, Dan Litz, his internship coordinator, Chris Watson, alongside of gym manager and mentor to Matthew, Kate Allen. And folks, it was wonderful to see how everyone is so invested in Matthew, including Matthew and himself, through our Big Picture program and this internship experience. I really encourage you to read everything that we have in the Weekly Connection about everything that everyone who is involved with Matthew's Learning, Western New York MMA, and everything they had to say about Big Picture. But here is the, the, the crux that we really wanted to focus on this week is that this is an exciting time for Big Picture. It's a time that Big Picture is expanding its programming to include seventh grade classes beginning this September and is currently accepting applications for its incoming seventh and eighth grade classes. Families of current sixth and seventh grade students can ex access the application on the Big Picture program website. It's listed right there, but it's www.ktufsd.org forward slash BP. As a district, we will continue to learn from the experiences in all of our programs and attempt to find ways to enhance our programming throughout the district. Big Picture is a perfect example. And this experience was wonderful because we got to see Matthew working with his mentor, Kate, and not just on uh, school performance. Of course, school performance is important, but developing that leadership in Matthew. Not only his academics, not only his drive, but those soft skills, how Matthew really works with people, and how Matthew becomes intrinsically motivated to pursue the things not only that he's interested in, but pursue the things that he knows that he wants to continue to improve upon. And that's what we saw at Western New York MMA. For example, Matthew worked with Kate on their social media platform. You could read about that here in the in the connection this week and we're so proud of Matthew. We're so proud of all of our staff at Big Picture and we're so very proud of the students. And folks, mentoring is the key. This week we focus on the mentoring in Big Picture. Please read about it. We could always use mentors and more internship experience for those students that are in the Big Picture program. But working with students one-on-one, -on -one, wherever we can, mentoring is the key to their continued growth and development. This is just one example. Way to go, Matthew, and way to go, our big picture staff. Our next section, you'll see Breakfast with the Board. And a reminder that tomorrow, Saturday, April 30th, our Board of Education will host its second community forum entitled Breakfast with the Board. This event will begin promptly at 9 a.m. in the Kemmer Middle School Building, 155 Delaware Road in the Community Room. Guests are encouraged to come early so as not to miss part of the discussion. The forum is designed to provide parents, residents, staff, and any other members of the school district community a chance to ask questions or discuss topics of their choosing while also enjoying a delicious breakfast provided by our Kenton School District's uh, Food Service Department. Guests will also be able to get to know Board of Education members and district administrators. All members of our Kenton School District community are welcome and invited to attend this special event. And speaking of special events, a brand new event that the Town of Tonawanda is beginning is this program called Badges and Pins. The Town of Tonawanda Police Department is offering students in grades 6 through 9 and their parents or guardians the chance to bowl with officers on Saturday through the new Badges and Prints program. And that begins on April 30th at Classic Lanes. So, folks, 
Bowling will take place between 9 and 11 a.m., but the real key here is followed by a lunch and community meeting with officers to discuss topics that affect children and families. Our next section, then you'll see school highlights. This week we have uh, two from Kemore West, two from all of our schools, and an additional one from Kemore East. Really look at those pages. We have some great news and highlights to share with our community. Next, we just reiterate something that we talked about in the connection last time, but there's a beautiful picture in there from our Western New York Education Service Council Awards Banquet, where we saw Mr. Michael Muscarella and Miss Denise Carr honored this year. Uh, Mike for uh, being the Director of Elementary Education, and Miss Denise Carr for uh, honoring our as an art teacher here in our district. And just a wonderful way that we show, a wonderful way that we're highlighting the great work that's going on by our educators here in Kenton. And we rounded off this week with our recognitions. And we have two recognitions today. We start off first with Miss Dina Ferraccio. This week, we congratulate Dina Ferraccio, Director of School Culture, who has been elected President of the Kids Escaping Drugs Board of Directors. Ms. Ferraccio has been volunteering for the organization for years and previously served as vice president. Here in Kenton, she has also been instrumental in initiating parent-family sessions on topics such as alcohol drug ad addiction and teen vaping marijuana use. Kids Escaping Drugs is an extremely important nonprofit organization that focuses on empowering adolescents and families to live a life free of disease of addiction through community outreach, education, and early intervention. Kids Escaping Drugs also operates the Renaissance Campus, a residential treatment center for chemically dependent adolescents. Ms. Ferraccio has been with the district for nearly five years, first serving as an assistant principal at Kemmer West High School from 2017 through 21. But this past August, Ms. Ferraccio was appointed as the district's first director of school culture. In this capacity, Ms. Ferraccio focuses on initiatives to cultivate a positive school culture in each building as well as anti-bullying programs, character education, social emotional initiatives, safety and security, and much, much more. We are always proud to see members of our staff step up and take these leadership roles in organizations like Kids Escaping Drugs. Please join me in congratulating Ms. Ferracci on this achievement. And we finish with our next recognition. This is where we're going to end our connection this week. And it's a thank you to our administrative professionals throughout our district. As this week we celebrated Administrative Professionals Day here in Kenton and many throughout the region. Businesses and organizations throughout the country observed Administrative Professionals Day on Wednesday to recognize and celebrate the work of our administrative support staff who play an integral role at the school and district level. There are so many office staff who work behind the scenes supporting everything we do as a district. They keep our schools and district operations organized and running like clockwork. There are countless critical tasks they are responsible for every day, such as school and district planning, acquiring supplies and instructional materials, essential record keeping, student attendance tracking, arrival and dismissal management, compliance with laws and regulations, interacting with families, residents, community members, and the list goes on and on that they are doing on a daily basis. Our administrative support staff do an excellent job, and I ask that everyone join me in celebrating and recognizing these outstanding individuals. Our school district is always so reliant on our administrative professionals throughout our entire community. So once again, thank you. And that brings us to the end of the connection this week. And folks, just to leave with this message, let's make sure we're finishing strongly. Let's really work with students to realize the next time we have a connection, folks, we're already in the month of May. And we have to make sure that we can, we can see that finish line. Let's make sure that we're seeing it through to the end, especially our seniors, no senioritis seniors. All of our students make sure that we're finishing strongly and that we're absolutely giving it our all in this final quarter of the school year. This at the end of our trimester, let's make sure that we're working it to the end because that's what makes us Kenton strong. We are absolutely Kenton proud, and together we'll keep on moving Kenton forward. Thank you very much, and enjoy the sunshine this weekend.